Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Just a kind of a summary on some uh, gear that we've been using uh, for the last, I don't know, two years here in, in the facility. Uh, most of you know that, you know, I wasn't involved in the gear game, so to speak. I hadn't bought amplifiers or speakers for 15, 20 years. So <laughs> my reference was, you know, 15, 20 years ago. So I've had the chance, you know, with this new studio to set up, you know, with new gear and, and hear the advances that technology has made in both, you know, speakers and amplifiers and DACs and all that. Didn't even have, you know, digital was just coming in in the 80s, I think, when I kind of got out of the game. But so just a couple uh, observations here on, on a couple pieces of uh, gear. The Class A power and, and the optical HDMI journey, we're going to call it. Um, you know, we started with a, our two-channel room, and then I added a little 5.4 system, mainly because I had speakers left over from the, the big room, which we, we started with center channel all the way around, and then we moved to floor standing. So I had all those center channel speakers. I think they crossed like at 60 cycles or something. So a nice little, and we had five, so... It was good to get it in, into the room, get it hooked up. And, you know, I hate to have gear sitting around not being used. You know, even if it's just background, you should, you should always have it being used. So, so I wanted to start with a really low resolution input, you know. So I chose optical. I've been reading about optical and, you know, everybody says, oh, stay away from it. You know, there's too much noise. It, it doesn't sound good. It's, it's not high enough resolution and they were right <laughs> it's true one of the few things that that i hear that kind of is true so i spent six months with optical connector in a, in the small room and uh said, okay i mean i tuned the room to that you know but then i switched over to the hdmi which is you know a hard wire versus optical which is light and i think the optical is just more noisy I think that's pretty much what we're hearing. So there's a huge difference in the HDMI stuff. And it's a hard, hard cable, you know. So, and of course, companies make all kinds of connectors and stuff. I think the HDMI cables we have are two, three hundred bucks each or something like that. Nothing too expensive. Not like speaker cables. So anyway, there's a huge difference. The base is way tighter, way tighter. Uh, the optical just doesn't transmit low frequency stuff very well in the mid-range the resolution's much improved it, i would say it's dramatically different um it feels like layers of noise were lifted off with the hdmi versus the optical so it's kind of interesting and and the cable differences when you have a really high resolution room really pop out for you and you get to see and hear those differences and then class a power um we have Class A power in the two-channel room, and of course, back in my day, that was the best you could get in terms of resolution, detail, uh, dynamic range, punch for the bass. Um, Class A power was, you know, the the thing that we st uh, strived for when we were kids to have. Uh, Class A power, uh, it's warm, it's always on, you know, full full power on, and so it generates a lot of heat. Um, we use the Plinius amp, uh, from Australia and their class A system, they're 300 water. And, uh, it's funny because, uh, the electricity bill went up a hundred dollars a month when we got that amp because, uh, they take a lot of energy and it's always on. So we just leave it on and, uh, we don't turn it on and off. We just leave it on. I leave all the gear on, you know, I don't turn it off and on. I don't want you know, because it's cold where I'm at, and I don't want the expansion and contraction all the time on the boards and the gear and stuff like that, the connectors. So I just leave everything on, you know, keep it down, low power and stuff, but it's always on. But the Class A amp, the Plenty of Amps under my desk, so it's winter here now, and boy, I just put my feet up on it when I'm working at my desk. <laughs> it's nice and toasty can get real toasty. It can get up to 125 degrees where we got it at. So I got a little fan about 10 feet away and foam all the way around the fan so you can't hear the fan. It keeps it about 110 degrees, which is nice and toasty to have under your desk. But 
way more low end, uh, detailed, separate. And there's air in the low end between the octave bands and notes. It's great to uh, hear. Plenty of dynamic range, smooth. All the fundamentals and the harmonics in the mid range are there, and they're smooth and they're very lush and realistic. So, Class A power still uh, still good. You know, it's good to see. Of course, there's A, B, and now we got tons of others. I think D's, E's, F. I don't know, but lots of them. And obviously, they all have their features and benefits. But it was fun after 15, 20 years uh, to have a Class A amp. Again, what, what was the one we had before? I can't even remember which one we had. I think it was Krell, Class A, kind of a custom uh, amp that was uh, made for us. So, But it's been, you know, 20 years to hear it. And uh, it's, it's good to know that what I started with and... 20 years later is still kind of uh, the favorite to use, at least it, from our perspective here in our studio. So just a little journey that I don't usually don't talk about gear that much, but it doesn't excite me that much. It's expensive. So, you know, when you need it in your room, you have to really budget for it if you're a business. So a little bit of journey for our Class A power uh, and the optical versus the HDMI connector. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.